bound off a 24-hour flight, hunger nagging my empty stomach from the starving journey, and not a single wink of sleep all night. Driving near a familiar place and a warm face that I call my nan's house. Not a grand house, but my nan's house. You sit down after a great meal on the city that would never dream to peel. The tune of Mrs. Brown's boys flickers on, Grandad sitting in his protective reclining chair, the TV nothing but white noise in the air. Maybe it's the hum of jet lag sweet in my ear. My nan exclaims, oh dear. She tenderly grabs my hand, I stumble up to bed upon demand. The little box room's eyes shine comfortably into the green of mine. The cosy smell hits my nose, smelling like a mix of country house and pine. A small room, a sweet room, the wall's hands are quilts, engulfing me in, nothing but the boom of the dreams of the sleep ahead drifting stealthily into the light's loom. The sound of the kettle boiling taps sleep from my body, a demand comes strong for a hobby nobby. I look out past the little box room's window, the fields arching over each other like a game of limbo. The sun shines breathtakingly through the window pane, the smell of breakfast waltz into my current domain. An old building stands large and tall, the bricks coughing and crumbling soon to become small. The wheel churns with a stutter at every rotation, the hardy flower produce, my head soon comes to a revelation. This mill is like Nanny and Grandad, always there, standing the test of time, bringing joy and excitement, however also comfort, a smile creeping into my mouth, making me glad, glad that when I'm with these people, there is little room to be sad. beginning to sound like they're roaring, the fuchsia pink of the berry cordial inviting my lips to have a taste, I fight the urge and look out over the garden. There are bluebells and cockle shells, an apple tree bending over with succulent green fruit, potatoes and snow peas emerge from the earth in different shoots. The people around me stare out too, I have one more thing to say from me to you. Nanny and Grandad, you make the world special. You make my heart tender. And these great times that I will talk about when I'm old and frail will be because I think back to my loving grandparents. And I will remember.